back to my channel. I'm Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. So I got a comment asking me to do the fragrance tag from Simply Aisha. It's called My Fragrance Personality Tag. So there are, it looks like there are 13 questions. So let's see. <laughs> so I did look at the questions and I have kind of looked through my collection a little bit so that I'm not taking too long to answer these questions, but yeah. So the first question is, what is your boss babe scent? And I feel like there are a couple of scents that I could choose from um in my collection but you know what I'm gonna go for something that even though I haven't worn her in a while I always feel bossy when I wear her and that is gonna be Chanel Coco Noir excuse the prince child okay but <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's the black bottle, but every time I wear this, I just feel like you can't sit here. <laughs> like, I just feel like I'm running the show, you know? So this is definitely a scent that makes me feel bossy. The next one here is what is your go-to bedtime scent? And I don't necessarily have a scent that I say I would prefer for bed, especially if I'm testing stuff out. But if I have to pick, I'm probably going to go with Whipped Almond from Mix Bar because it's just a nice, soft, cozy scent. There's so many cozy scents I could have chosen from, but I don't want to keep picking up the same old scents every time I do a video. So I'm going to go with a Whipped Almond. The next question is, what is your hug in a bottle scent? I'm gonna go with, you know, this is technically a mist. This is So De Janeiro's number 71. I'm gonna go with this one. This one, I just feel like anytime someone's in close proximity to you and you have this on, it brings them in, okay? Just trust me on this. <laughs> The next one is what is what is your secret weapon of mass seduction okay so back in the day before I had like real perfumes it was it was dark kiss like it listen dark kiss was the milkshake that brought all the boys to the yard I ain't gonna hold you okay and even love spell like Again, trust me on that. <laughs> um, I'm going to also throw in Donna Born in Roma, even though I just said I was trying to stop bringing up the same old scents every time I bring up scents. Listen, Donna brings everybody to the yard, okay? You just got to let them know who you trying to get to come to the yard, though. Like, Donna is a mass appealing scent, at least in my experience. Every time I wear Donna everybody loves it okay everybody loves it everybody compliments it so as an adult donna is the milkshake that brings all the, the boys to the yard you know looking for men not boys but y'all get the point <laughs> what is a fragrance you never wear but can't part with <sighs> that is lancome's bouquet I love this stuff. Do you see there's virtually no dent in here? But to be fair, if you spray more than two spritzes of this, you're you're gonna suffocate, okay? It's, it stuff smells so good. Okay, let me spray once, okay? I already sprayed it down there. Oh, I got something on here too, I don't care. Oh, that was twice. I might have to move quick so that because once this oh it's so potent mm. this stuff don't come to play 
I'd be scared to wear it. Like, and I think because of what happened the last time I wore it is why I like haven't been reaching for it ever. So it was 2020. Um, I was out shopping during the Christmas season at this point, so we're all masked up, but it's freezing outside. I had wore this, okay. It might have been 2021. Cause I feel like I had Bath and Body Works with it. I had wore this, you know, and I had a mask on and I was in the store waiting in line and this scent was seeping through my coat, up through my mask, suffocating me, but we couldn't take our masks off. Like I was in line in the store sweating bullets and suffocating from this scent because I had on a mask and I couldn't get any outside oxygen until I got outside. Like, I just, it smells so good to me though. So I can't part with it, but she's so strong. Okay, she's very strong. But such a good rose wood combo. Like the oud is very, fragrant hair is so good and this is the first oud scent that I bought so that's how I knew I wasn't afraid of oud because this one you kind of like jumping off the deep end at that point <laughs> mm. I'm falling in love with the scent all over again so maybe well not to work I, I don't think I can wear this to work but maybe I'll start wearing it a little more because uh, I love me some oud bouquet. I just can't part with it. It's just so strong. The next one is, what is one of your favorite fragrances that you don't wear enough? I'm gonna name two, okay? Um, First one is Instant Crush from Mancera. Y'all, this, I love it. As soon as I, cause I remember I had gotten a sample of this from one of my scent subscriptions and I immediately went to order a full bottle. And then there is Intense Cafe from Montal. Again, another rose vanilla combo here that's everything. And I never wear I never wear either of these, but I love them so much. And I just wish I would wear them more. Like I have combo in mind. I have combo ideas in mind. I have similar scents I've worn in place of these and i just need to go on and let them live their best life and put some dents in them because they are both so good to me next is what is a fragrance you would recommend for a beginner that wants to smell unique <clears throat> so why can't i just pick one <sighs> this is tough and i feel like i should only be picking one so so I'm gonna go with Cozy Cola from Dawkins, which is their impression of Mancera's Tonka Cola. And while it's technically unique, it does have some similar scent notes to Killian's Angel Share. I think it's that um, fizzy note, that soda note that makes this more unique. Um, I have here Too Faced Better Than Sex as an honorable mention because I don't see really anyone talking about it, but it's a fruity patchouli scent. But I feel like there's plenty of fruity patchouli scents, even if it doesn't smell exactly like this, but you know, probably not hard to come by. So I go with um, Tonka Cola or Cozy Cola from Dawkins. Um, and an honorable mention would be Too Faced Better Than Sex. What is a fragrance that you love that everyone else seems to hate? Um, I don't really know if I have a scent in my collection that I'm aware of that people don't love as far as fragrances go. I will say I have Pear Creme Brulee right here from Bath and Body Works. The girlies weren't loving her and I hate that for them. <laughs> there, there were plenty of people that did enjoy this, but there were, I feel like just as many people who didn't enjoy this scent. So... Hmm more for me <laughs> i almost want to throw italica there but i feel like there maybe it's just the sharpness in the opening to italica that can be off-putting that you know would make someone not like the scent but outside of pear Kimberly, i'd probably say italica is a more difficult scent to 
appreciate, if you will. So the next one is, what is an overhyped fragrance that you currently own? <laughs> Do not come for me because I bought these with my own money. Okay, first of all. Second of all, I don't want to hear how much you love this scent and how it works for you because they are currently not working for me. Okay, I just want to... I don't start there okay because every time you say you love something someone has to let you know how much they don't like it and vice versa you don't like something somebody has to let you know oh well i listen okay respectfully i don't care right now these two cents they're overhyped to me i don't know if at some point my thoughts will change on them but right now i said what i said okay <laughs> number one even though there's a dent in here, because I'm trying, Dolce & Gabbana Limb Paratrice number three. The girlies already talking about this as one of the best watermelon scents to be having. And it's sour. Like, I think there's a kiwi note in here and that's, it's, it's sour. And it wasn't worth the hype. When I think of a juicy watermelon scent, this is not, this ain't it. And I said what I said. And the next one, okay, there's a dent in it, partially from me spraying it and partially from me decanting it to others. This is Zerzhoff's Le Capital, okay. I've seen descriptions of it being a sweet strawberry caramel. Maybe I should try this in cooler weather because um, I wasn't getting any of that. And, and the thing that really irked me the most about this is I have bought a sample from of this. So I, hold on. Oh, this just needed cooler weather. <laughs> I'm gonna still mention this though because I was hoping this would be sweeter than what it actually is. It's not very sweet to me, even though it has strawberry, peach, and caramel listed as notes. I get more of that leather, which I do love a leather note, but I want more of the fruity notes that is being advertised from this because it's not fruity to me it smells like a leathery scent with a hint of sweetness and I need more than a dash of sweet so while I don't flat out hate it as much as I thought I did I still think it's still a little overhyped and that's it and who gonna check me boo the next um, question is, what fragrance is on the chopping block? Okay. I got two again. Okay. The first one is this Peppy Jeans scent. Because um, it has like marshmallow listed as a note. So my mind is supposed to be a little more sweet. And I think there's a liquor listed in here, like vodka maybe. But honestly... To me, this kind of smells like Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works. So, I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't know if... Because I got this from FragranceNet and it didn't come in the box. Child, for all I know, they could have swapped the juice out and gave me some other juice. But this, to me, doesn't smell like soft, fluffy marshmallow. So... I feel like I might be ready to part with this one because I literally do not reach for it. I only spray it to see if I still don't like it. And yeah. And the next one here, this also hurts my heart. This is Jimmy Choo Fever. Because I don't reach for this either. Like, and the thing that annoys me is I went through a lot to find this on sale. Only to never wear it. I might have worn it like a couple of times, but I don't know. Maybe I need to try and spin the block on it, wear it again. 
so this one's a maybe on the chopping block but i feel like this one's definitely going to be getting like decluttered the next one is what is the last fragrance that you purchased and for me that is latafa's affection which smells just like kaoli's yum pistachio and on me this is sweeter than yum pistachio i don't know if my yum pistachio needs to sit a little longer to get a little more sweet but Let's have fan kind of play with y'all, okay? The next question is, what fragrance is at the top of your wish list? That is Rouge Smoking from BDK. I want that scent so bad. And I have a couple of other things I'm trying to do this month. So I'm trying so hard to hold off on getting it. So maybe I'll try and get it for myself for Christmas, but I want that scent like real bad. <laughs> um, and then the last one here is what is your, I guess, number, yeah, what is your one fragrance for life? I'm not already brought up Donna, so I guess we know implicitly Donna, but <clears throat> I'm going to throw in Floral Marshmallow from Dossier, which is their version of Love by Killian. Y'all, it's just like this sweet, sticky, marshmallowy orange blossom. And because this has been sitting for a few months, because I bought this bottle back in the spring because I was putting a dent in my first bottle. So I was like, let me just get a backup. So this has been sitting. The juice has been getting darker. It's so good. This is something that will also be like one of my top scents for life. I love this scent, love the, I, I can't even talk y'all. <laughs> I love this scent, I love this scent profile, everything. So I think that's all the questions for this. So I'm gonna say thank you to Topsy Turvy for um, asking me to do this. Somebody, somebody wants to hear what I gotta say and I appreciate it, so. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, ain't nobody gonna check me on what I said about some of them scents. <laughs> and also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video.